back when he was facing trial and then afterwards, 80% of whites thought he was guilty, 20% of blacks. And then the opposite was 80% of blacks thought he was innocent. Um, and I always thought that that was unusual to have that much of a racial split just to begin with. I mean, I know that there were different perspectives on racial events and O.J. Simpson was a racial event just because he was married to a white girl. Um, so that was there always. I was sort of surprised that even afterwards, when the trial was done and we sort of saw the evidence, that the black community still seemed to, I'm going to call it, refuse to accept what was apparent to other people, that he probably had guilt. Maybe it should have been 50-50 or something. I was sort of surprised. The fact that 20 years later that the black community has changed their opinions, I think, is a couple of things. One, I think just with time, the emotions of the moment, when they made the decision, now they, now they can look back a little bit more calmly, maybe. So 80% would say, no way could that icon, that black icon, be, be guilty. And I can never say that that black icon is guilty. Maybe it's a little bit easier now. And now that, since OJ was the first opportunity to have that conversation, sort of, you know, a black icon under trial, now that there's been a few more and that we've had more conversations, maybe we can stretch out the conversation a bit. And I think that's what's happening.